the spot that you are queen. He said, White, I love you. I'm not just saying that shit, saying you never wanted to date anybody. If you swim me, no problem. But fucking you and cross. Ah, no, fuck. You cannot say that shit. <laughs> My God, guys. Oh, God. I never thought the day would come in my wildest imaginations of watching this season of Before the Niger. I never thought that day would come where I will witness the almighty Mazi, white money, white lion, everything white money, <laughs> scatter like a pack of cards, eh? <laughs> just because of a woman, just because of love, just because of feelings. <laughs> I mean, last night, guys, I witnessed how white money suffered a very, very terrible, painful heartbreak from Queen. Hey, God. And guys, if you hear the details of this long, over 30 minutes conversation they had, you too, you'll be shocked. You'll be surprised. You'll be shocked. Like, ah, ah. So this thing can actually get to white money like this. Guys, hey, listen, you need to watch to the end of this video to get the juicy tea. Because trust me, you don't want to miss out on this one. This gist there, eh, this is what everybody has been anticipating. This is the question everybody has been asking from day zero. Since this season six of Big Brother and I just started. Everybody has been asking one question. That this white money, is there no tendency for him to fall in love on this show? What if a woman that can sweep him off his feet comes into the house? Guys, it finally happened though. Hey! You see that tiny queen with her big bum bum going up and down inside that house, eh? <laughs> she has become the Helen of Troy <laughs> that finally came to come and put turmoil in white money's peaceful life in that house. And guys, did you just sweet? Yo, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah. And this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. Guys, you already know what the scoop of this video is. I will be sharing details of all of that and more. Guys, the rest of the gist is this time around about Cross, Angel, and Pere. Guys, there is a sandwich situation going on currently in the red room you don't want to miss out on that gist all right um before i go into the gist please don't forget to turn on post notification on my channel and um, this is week nine of the big brother niger shine your eye season six show there is a lot of madness that's going to be happening this week and you totally don't want to miss out so for you to be updated with the most factual, accurate, detailed analysis, guys, you totally need to turn on post notification on my channel. You need to subscribe so that you will stay hooked and not miss out on one update. All right, let's start. So the conversation between White Money and Queen happened right after the most boring live eviction show. <laughs> guys, trust me, yesterday's show, it was a waste of my time, my energy, my eyes. <laughs> But scratch that, yes. So White Money was completely unsettled by Ebuka's double-triggered question. I mean, for him, he still could not recall what he said, you know, that actually corroborated with Ebuka's question. Because for him, he simply gave Cross an advice, you know. So he was pouring out his heart to Queen in the head of house lounge. But then Queen chose that moment to also bear out her grievances towards white money. So for her, she was basically complaining about how white money tends to make her feel bad in the process or in the course of trying to advise her. And then she made certain statements. Guys, we did not really catch that statement because thanks to Coyote, of course. Coyote kept on, you know, carrying the camera to different boring people in the house when a very, very juicy conversation was taking place. So later, by the time Coyote would now bring back the camera to the head of house lounge, white money was lost in deep thought. So I was wondering, like, what could make white money be this... I don't know, should I say worried or bothered? He looked really, really disturbed. To the point that he was talking to thin air, he was basically using his fingers to calculate. Like, dude was completely lost. Guys, I completely did not understand. At some point, I felt like Ebuka's questions really, really ran deep into his mind, like completely unsettled his mind, his entire being. Only for us to come back later, after roaming around the mansion with Kai Ode, you know, listening to boring conversations. Now came back to white money, Forgetting his emotions, venting out to Queen 
about a lot. Guys, have a listen for yourself. I promise you, and I guarantee you this, in my full chest, my daughter, you see the vibe that you give to me? If I had, if I give you that same vibe, the same energy, I promise you by now, we'll be a couple. Frankly, that conversation ran for over 30 minutes, guys. So I cannot possibly post the entire clip of that conversation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to summarize. Guys, this is the crux of the matter. In the course of their conversation, Queen had actually felt less appreciated because she felt that White Mini was giving more accolades to Jackie B over the settlement of the issue that they had on the day she had that crazy altercation with White Money. So out of annoyance and probably out of a need to be petty to attack White Money's ego, she had actually made a statement saying she had never really intended to date anybody in the Shanghai Eye Mansion but to only fuck White Money and cross. Guys, that was all Queen needed to trigger white money. As a matter of fact, that was the reason why white money kept on lamenting, forgetting his emotions, venting for over 20 minutes of that conversation. He was the only one talking. He was the only one lamenting. Now, his pain is that how could you come into this house, show me all that attention, even tell me, white money, I love you. The love symbol. You show me the sign of a heart on this particular head um, HOH bed. Tell me you love me. You are there fighting me, oh, giving me all the green light, all the attention. You know everything. And now you're coming to come and tell me just now that you only wanted to fuck me and cross. <laughs> I really paid white money. It's paid like guys, it was like a direct assault on his ego. Sorry, you want to tell me that I'll take that shit off my head. As the white lion of the house, as the mazi of the house. Because guys, who would have thought that in week nine, or let, let's just call it week eight stroke, week nine morning, such a revelation will come out from Queen. Yeah, just leave it. I'm sorry. Right? I do. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. After saying, I just realized that I'm not supposed to say that. I mean, if he had matched Queen's energy with his full chest, as he said, of course, the same energy of, you know, showing love, attention, following the person up and down, guys, for real, they would have been creating some erotic content in that house. And of course, Queen had declared several times last week that she has a very, very high sexual libido. She has a very, very high sexual cravings. Sometimes she's insatiable. So imagine if white money had matched that energy, guys, for real. These dozen people, they would have been like the hottest couple in the house. Nobody, not even Nini and Saga, would have been able to match their energy. You know, so I could kind of feel white money's pain, but guys, it was so hilarious. What do you want to do? Maybe can't touch my pain. I'm so hungry, don't I need it. Really? I don't think you're going to have to do this under. I'm so hungry, do Thank your God, so you know you're pressing me, you see how they touch. You do this in You want to beat me? But then he blatantly told her, that girl, I don't trust you anymore. For you to be able to open your mouth and say this to me, just after, just a couple of days ago, telling me, declaring to me that you love me, then I do not trust you. And guys, I could really feel his pain. But then the funny thing is, after Kayode took us again on another long trip around the house and we came back, we saw that both of them were cuddling and sleeping. <laughs> I said, oh my God, Big Brother really played white money a fast one by sending Queen into that house. Because you see that Queen, she's the bone that is choking white money currently in that house. And then we had the Angel, Cross and Paris situation. So apparently, Angel who has been playing hard to get with Cross all these days, not wanting to have a conversation with Cross, finally broke out a smile at Cross. Yes, because <laughs> they were all stuck in that room. Angel was combing her hair, losing her hair, combing her hair, and Cross was having a conversation with Pere. So it was like the conversation was going on over her head, and Cross was very, very uncomfortable. Guys, we know that Cross is not the man to keep malice with any woman. Like, dude cannot even take himself serious, not to talk about taking a malice, you know, with such 
much um should i say en um, enormity <laughs> serious so he had to start teasing angel to get her attention I don't lose my best friend. Best friend. Oh my best friend don't go well. And guys, in as much as Angel was playing hard to get, guess what? Perry was able to go and meet her in the kitchen when she left the room to ask her the real reason why she was giving Cross all of that attitude. And guys, she finally revealed the reason to Perry. And because I think I asked to you. So you like him so she didn't feel when I should be able to get I said it. I mean, I said it. I knew it. That this angel that is acting like, oh, I am the okra of the house. I cannot fall in love. I am the flirt. I do this, I do that. I said it that she go fall. One day, Olympus shall fall. I mean, guys, <laughs> it, it's just very obvious. I said it during one of my videos yesterday, yes, that it's very obvious that angel is jealous. That cross, who has been giving her attention last week, finally shifted his attention to Sasuke. Yes, and it was very obvious that she was catching feelings for Cross already. So telling Perry that, oh, she didn't want to get too emotionally attached to Cross, guys, it's all bulls crap. It's a bloody lie. She already caught feelings for Cross. Yes, she said it right from the beginning. Cross is a crush, yes, and they didn't help matters that Cross has been indulging her all this while in all those their nasty nasty dirty kissing sprays so it's very obvious that she has been catching feelings for cross i mean cross is the only guy in that house that she has consistently kissed more than twice every other guy that she has kissed in the house she has only kissed them maybe just once yes for a few seconds but for cross they've shared very very erotic passionate kisses and guys trust me there's no way that feelings will not start creeping in under such circumstances guys just let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this white money and queen's entanglement because at the moment i am seeing queen as the real mvp as a matter of fact i have given her the trophy of the realest okra in that house because that girl just crept into that house very very sneakily and scattered a lot of people's minds in that house so let me know your own thoughts in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another episode shortly have an amazing amazing new week and happy monday bye <laughs>